Thank you for joining me today on Paint a Beautiful Picture. This is episode number 213, Changing My Mind. I always say this because I believe it's the truth. Men never want women to change, and they always do. <laughs> women want men to change, and they seldom do. It's the quandary of being male and female. But you know what? Occasionally, all of us need to have the right to change our minds. It's about growing, developing, becoming smarter, becoming stronger, even becoming better informed. And every single one of us need to have that option available to us to grow and develop and change. And when we do, our thinking, our ideas, our opinions may change. We need to have the right to change, and we need to understand that it's completely appropriate for us to change things. So, you need to literally intentionally teach your child it is very appropriate to change your mind. In other words, when you're young, green might be your favorite color. When you're an adult, blue or yellow or orange may be your favorite color. And when you're old, you may like yellow or purple. You can change your mind. You can change your opinion about something. I remember a classic argument that my mom and my dad had, and you might find this amusing, and that's okay, but I'm going to tell you the truth. They had this argument about whether the sun revolved around the earth or whether the earth revolved around the sun. And the consequent orbit of the moon was a really fascinating discussion I remember them having. But I mean, they would have intense fights about this. So they got out the encyclopedia and they looked into National Geographic. You have to remember this is way back in the 50s, long before Google or Bing or anyone else existed that you could ask a question of and read quite a bit about it. But I'm just telling you, I remember this long standing quite vehement argument that my mom and dad had, and I won't say who was on which side, but one of them, in light of further study and facts, had to change their mind, radically change their mind about something I think they had believed for 40, 50 years of their life. So that's a pretty significant change. Sometimes we learn to change our minds or our thinking when we are exposed to further information, a book, a TV show, a, another culture. We meet someone. I had a good friend in fourth grade. Her dad was an engineer and they came from Pakistan. And it was the first time I ever met a Muslim and became familiar, really quite familiar with an entirely different culture and another belief system. I want you to know that you need to let your children know it really is perfectly okay at times to change your mind. In fact, it takes a pretty big person to admit that they were wrong before, that a lot of how they thought or felt or some of their opinions might not have been uh, as well educated as they could have been. And in light of further information, further exposure to new things, uh, a bigger view of the world, they may very well change their mind. And it is all right. You need to give your kids that message. So as a parent, and I've definitely heard this more than once, a kid goes, I just don't like baseball anymore. Well, what are you talking about? You've always liked baseball. You love baseball. You've loved baseball since you were a kid. That's ridiculous. Oh, let's talk about invalidating someone's right to change their mind. Not good. I've definitely heard people, marital couples go, well, honey, I've known you for 25 years and you've never thought that. That's not who you are. And I know you. Well, uh, you have to get to know each other over and over again because people do change. And you need to give them the room and the freedom to change. So you teach your child. You can change your mind. You can tell me that you used to love chocolate ice cream and now you like peppermint better. You can tell me that you always hated Oreo cookies but now you found out that the double stuffed ones, because there's a whole lot more frosting inside of them, you can handle Oreo cookies now. You may change your mind. With all of that being said, let me say to you, I am a person who believes in absolute truth. 
There is absolutely no question that in our world, there is little value placed on absolute truth, but there are in fact absolutes. And it is wise of us to understand the difference between those things which are negotiable and those things which are not negotiable. So that means I still value the truth and you need to tell it to me. I cannot abide being lied to. It means that you still need to be an honest person at heart. Don't go around with all these underlying, manipulative, controlling, hidden behind the scenes agenda nonsense because I don't respond well to that. I need you to be honest and upfront with me. Most people value that still. I need you to respect what is mine. Don't go around trying to rip me off. Don't steal from me. That is not appropriate. That is an absolute. It is not negotiable. Okay. And it is appropriate to protect and preserve life. Don't go around killing animals. You don't hurt other people intentionally. You protect and preserve and respect life. Those are absolutes. They are. It is important to respect and love your neighbor. It is important to love and respect yourself. It is important to understand, seek to understand God, to follow him and to obey him. Those are absolutes. They are not negotiable in my world. My question for you today is, what are the absolutes for you? And how are you at respecting someone's ability, right, common courtesy given to them, when they change their mind. <laughs> it's not always as easy as we think, believe it or not. I would like you to encourage your child and teach your child. It's really okay to change your mind. It's a sign of growth and development of further education. And it is not always a bad thing to have the liberty to change your mind. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me today on Paint a Beautiful Picture. You may find additional information on our paintabeautifulpicture.com website. Additionally, you may watch me on Rumble, and you may also listen to a podcast on Buzzsprout or Spreaker, all under the name Paint a Beautiful Picture. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. You may subscribe, and if you are interested in receiving notifications, please hit the notifications button.